and welcome Destiny of Christian Church to uh, to our podcast, Destiny Devos, and so glad to be with you today. And we've been talking about idolatry, some seed thoughts as I'm working towards this series. I'm kind of picking your brain and you know be praying about it and thinking about it for yourself. But I want to talk today about worshiping how that worshiping idols, um, worshiping God and idols rather, why you can't have it both ways. Um, sometimes maybe human nature might ask the question, you know, is it possible to serve God and idols? And I think that if you read the whole Bible, you realize that that is absolutely impossible. God tells us that he's a jealous God in the scriptures. He never tolerates any form of idolatry at all, even in the heart, in the Old Testament, and he always punishes it severely within the scriptures. And just because idolatry is so visible in the Old Testament does not mean that it didn't happen in the New Testament. And, uh, you know, one of the, one of the uh, apostles, the last thing he says in his letter is flee idols. But here's a question that human nature might want to ask itself, or, or maybe we do this naturally. Is it possible to reach some kind of accommodation where you can have all this in heaven too? In other words, serve God and idols at the same time. And so the Bible calls that mixture, like mixing alloys that make whatever was original impure, right? If you mix gold with a lot of alloys, it makes the gold impure. And there's a scripture in uh, 2 Kings 7, 17.33 that it's one of the saddest scriptures in the Old Testament. And um, Samuel, Chronicles, and Kings are, are you know books of the history of Israel. And this is towards the end of, of, of the historical account. And it, it ends on such a sad note. And it, it goes like this, the scripture. It says, So they worshipped the Lord, but also served their own gods after the manner of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. And so we find that they tried to do this. But was it possible to do this? Because just because it says, yeah, they serve God and the idols, notice it doesn't say it was right. And we'll see that later on. But the danger with mixture is that mixture gives false hope. Mixture is actually more dangerous than outright idolatry because it can give someone a false sense of hope, one that says, I'm okay as long as I go to church or do the religious thing and I can live my life as I please. And that is an idolatry of mixture where, where someone is saying, I'm going to serve my own gods and also serve Jesus at the same time. And that, according to the scriptures, is not possible. And we'll read it in a second here, but but another thing that mixture does is it reduces the divine to the common. It, it lowers God to my level where I can control them, manipulate him, and create him and refashion him as, as I please. And 2 Kings 17.32 says this, For they also worshipped the Lord and appointed from among themselves all sorts of people as priests of the high places, who sacrificed for them in the shrines of the high places. So what is what is happening here? Notice it says they, they appointed from among themselves all sorts of people. You can underline that. that that's the part that's the concern. Because in, in the scriptures, when everything first started, where, where God appointed Moses and Mo, Moses appointed the priests, it was clear that the Levites, only Levites, were to be the priests. And every priest had to be sanctified. They, they, they had to be separated and holy to God. They couldn't just do their functions without being separated to God. But here's what happens when we begin to bring down the divine and make it common. is where we choose all sorts of people to be priests. And they don't have to be sanctified. They don't have to be separated. We'll just choose them because we like them. And isn't that what happens today when anybody can just marry a couple? You know, for a few bucks online, just buy a license and I can marry you, you can marry me. And it has reduced the priesthood of God, of, of what it means to be holy and, and, and sanctified, to the common. And that's the danger of, of this, of, of having it both ways, so to speak. But also, mixture is, is not true worship. We started out with a scripture that says, so they serve God and their idols. It doesn't mean that it's right. And he, here's, here's where it where where the scripture where it makes it wrong right where it proves it wrong but just because they worship god and the idols doesn't mean that it was pleasing god or that it was right 
because this is what Second Kings 17 says and, and 34. So to, this, to, to this day, they continue to practice their former customs. They do not worship the Lord, and they do not follow the statutes of the ordinances of the law or the commandments that, that the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom they named Israel. Notice it says, I underlined it, they do not worship the Lord. So God is showing there that you can't have it both ways. You can't have God and idols at the same time. If you have an idol, it either goes or God goes. It just doesn't work. So here's my challenging question as I work through this series. And as I said, I've been trying to plant seed thoughts as I'm working towards the series. And it's helping me to think out loud and bounce it off of you. If you have any thoughts, see me at church and, and tell me your thoughts on it. But, but can we worship God and other idols? I think that's a question that's settled in Scripture. I, I think any of us know that you can't have two lovers, right? Either, either you're married to one or married to the other. You can't have both because you, your heart can be divided. Um, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So check out our website. Check out uh, our YouTube. And check out our Facebook. There's always new stuff on the website, new announcements coming up. And, and uh, just... Um, Check it out for, for information. Connect with it. Make sure you, you subscribe to all that stuff, okay? So until next time, thanks so much for being with us. God bless. Mm -hmm.